the next incoming projectile. So that being said, we're going to be seeing John and Sinji just get back into it. Game I came all the way out here for this! Yeah, you did. What'd you, what'd you expect? What'd you expect? All right, well, this has got to be like episode 90 of these two fighting each other in this game. They, they've fought each other so much. Count, countless times to the point where people who have never heard of like 90% of Tri-State know this set. There isn't a whole lot else to say about this matchup that hasn't already been said because I promise you we have said everything. But It Sinji really is a tale as old as time. And contrary to popular belief, they're not just going to camp each other out. They're actually just going to scrap with each other until they're yeah. mauled and bloody. This is where the Hanabu Bear sound effects. Uh, usually uh, come into play here. So now he's controlling the stage so confidently. Once again, gets that deep breathing F throw. But Sinji recognizes, hey, you're not ready to cover my high recovery. I can just get back on through basically free. Beautiful spacing on the trampoline as well. Yep. Great patience on Sinji, waiting for the opportunity to see if he can get a button off. Not able to just yet. He knows he's sitting at the heavy deficit. He'll have his opportunity to get these numbers back, but he can't overextend. Look at these timing mix-ups as well, just making it so difficult for John to find that side B um, at the ledge. And there it is. Well, you jam into this music. I really am. I also thought you left the music. They're trying to put on a show with this one. This is a spectacle. Yeah, it, look, at, look at Sinji doing a little dance from across the stage. <laughs> Definitely important to note that these two are extremely familiar with each other's play styles. Yeah. We joke about it here, but it ends up leading to so many levels of counterplay that you as a competitor can never dream. playing dreamed. ninth dimensional chess with one another. No, yeah, as commentators, it is impossible for us to do proper justice to, to the amount of depth that these two have playing one another. Down Downer, once again, not killing. At the edge of the blast zone, it can kill you from 20, but there it is, that insurance. Trampoline is always there to be able to protect you. And we fit with having that many spike hitboxes, that's gonna come in handy. Like the Yomi levels these two sit on, the ability to just know, I know that you know that, I know that you know that you'll go for this option and so you'll get hit by this. Intense. <sighs> Apple covering that low recovery, really smart from Sinji, but he's fighting on the, the heel right now. 77% sits on him while Numbers is not just playing his game, but he's playing at the ledge and then some. Sort of chilling this nebulous space below Battlefield where he wow. can comfortably throw out hitboxes and Sinji can't really counter pressure. They, a lot of this game is really dictated at ledge. It's Pac-Man's ability to ledge trap and it is Wii Fit's ability to do Wii Fit things at ledge. And honestly, not a lot of these cherries have actually given Sinji all that much because John has been moving around them. He has been with punishing them as well with a lot of ledge goal F tilts. Uh, Sinji needs to be needs to mix it up a little bit. Well, also consider the fact that if he spends time going for another bonus fruit, it gives John more time to come back from his little hidey hole beneath Battlefield and come around with boosted buttons. He's made, doing a fantastic job of maintaining his deep breathing. So Sinji can't even really afford to scrap right now when you're sitting at this heavy of a deficit because oh, no. in that weird spot, okay. these buttons are killing. I'm surprised John didn't get to punish on that initial uh, directional air dodge, but he was still able to clean that up nonetheless. And now that is John with a lead. That means Sinji is going to have to be the one that is being the aggressor a little bit more because you don't want to give Weefit any chance you can get to get deep breathing and sun salutations out. Because that chip healing, it, it really adds up at the end. And Sinji's proven time and time again that he's willing to be the initiator in these interactions. The problem is, is that all the active space that Pac-Man is capable of covering where he's not overextending too far, does not extend into the space that Numbers is chilling at. Like, you want to play the ledge? Yeah, that's fine. They've done this song and dance literally like, countless times. Below the stage, it's such a weird spot. And now Numbers with a confident lead willing to fight on stage from center stage. Like, sinji has got to operate in this weird change of pace. Oh wow, Numbers with an apple in hand. This could be so scary you now. Sinji just does not have that option to him. Temporarily is going to be able to charge it up this time around. I really like a lot of the ranges that John is playing on when he's in center stage. All he's doing is dashing and rolling back uh, away from Sinji because Sinji has been consistently rolling and dashing back in. What? 
That was like the sharpest angle I think you can get off of Hedit. He still has not given up the bell. That's so dangerous. And there it is. <laughs> Endlessly in two chain by the fact that Weepit ran up to the trampoline and did like a perfect somersault and landed. She that sticks the landing! <laughs> That was just like such an unexpected moment of beauty, though. Oh. Judges give it a me. <gasps> no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that the melon had you shook! It's the power pellet chain that ought to have you shook! Side B is scary, though, because it is untackable if it hits you towards the stage. Then it'll kill if it hits out. So what do you have to do? You have to respect it and get back onto the stage. But John in classic Wii Fit fashion closes out that stock. The way that Weefa does it, it's just an F tilt. I mean, forward tilt got it done, I think, two out of three stocks. It's just a really good close range button, especially because Weefa is. How do you find this? I, I want to see how he found this kill. The let's play is just really goofy. Sinji, I don't know who Sinji is swinging at. <laughs> the lad's really going for the bangers on this set. Granted, this is an excellent mix. This is an excellent arrangement. Uh, so I'm a big fan of it. Welcome to Xeno, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I kind of want to know what track they picked for game one because I was seriously digging that one. We'll go back into the vibe. We'll like, like, Dev, I really need that one. <laughs> John just threw out, John just busted a Todd. He's yeah. playing games. My man. My I, man I, a friendly reminder time. that he does have fun playing video games. It can be done. You can be good and have fun. He just has his own very specific way that he likes to play this game. Completely even preset. That is Wii Fit with the key in hand. <sighs> Alright, so Sinji this time gonna be sitting on top platform. I actually like that idea quite a bit because no matter what funny little ledge mix up numbers wants to throw out, be it header, be it sun salutation, nothing will be able to hit Sinji. So he's just like, hey, you can get back onto the stage for all I care. I'm getting this bonus food whether you like it or not. And it's almost like an inverse reaction to what we saw from Numbers leading in in Game 1, where Numbers was hanging out at the ledge or below it. Sinji hanging out at the highest point of Battlefield is going to force Numbers to react in some way because none of his reactions are going to be relevant while Sinji sets up his game plan. And even then, he's not even moving fast with his game plan. Yes, he's charging bonus fruit, and that's whatever. Every Pac-Man needs their toy to play with. But he's not throwing down the fire hydrant. He's not committing to a button until he moves into that space, until he's ready. Well, keeps trying to go through a lot of these bells. Also, I think it's really funny that Bell interacts with Hydrate as though it's paralyzing it. I think that's pretty funny. Um, they're both just pacing this one so much more patiently than the last two right now. Oh my. When Pac-Man is he was looking at- Where was the panic roll, John? Where was the panic roll? When a Pac-Man is looking at your shield with a bell in hand and they're not committing to anything, that is one of the scariest game states in all of Ultimate because he can and will cover anything on reaction too if you just pick the wrong thing. And there's just so much pressure. Forward tilt is an insane option at the ledge. Covers a lot. It's fast. That's what it needs to. You're like, that's all she wrote. That's all you really need. But yeah, Numbers gets fancy when it's in neutral, or like he's attempting to extend some sort of obtuse sense of advantage against Sinji. But so when you need the kill, you just press the button. Oh, good sack. I feel like if you play like this on purpose, you have to have a great sense of reaction to play. But you're not taking that. That's, that's, sets that's out a great like... setup from Sinji. John did not have the ability to go high at all. When you have a slow-moving projectile there, much like Rob Jago, if you can just put out a hitbox there, congratulations, you have the freest two frame um, of your life, and you can go down there and try to catch a super low uh, mixed-up timing recovery as well. So that was just really good whittling of options away by Sinji. And that's not the first time that we've seen the melon come into play as well, because Early on in game one, Sinji tried putting it out there to establish as a threat. It was ineffective. But now we finally see it come back to play, and I think Numbers has forgotten how many layers we're playing on right now. And this is where the circle camping comes into play from Sinji. 
Mambo has no reason to approach right now. What is Sinji gonna do? Charge up another bonus food from across the stage? <laughs> oh! Apparently so. Look at these apple conversions. So well played. From the three point line, too. My monkey got all that damage. Oh, you're. No, you're not tech. If that hit out, you would have died. If that hits in, it's untackable. If you got the spike hitbox, who done? It was truly nothing that Sinji could have done other than, you know, just don't get hit. Sometimes it really is just that easy. Just don't get hit. Yeah, Sinji, Sinji's just not having any of these ledge rolls right now. He's just sitting there at the right distance, throwing out belt to cover everything else. Like, it's on Sinji to react. <laughs> Why commit any further space when overextending leads to a complete disaster? <gasps> the snipe from out deep! Mighty just <laughs> hit the table that hard. Oh my god. That angle was amazing, too. John thought he was safe. There is no safety when you have. Absolutely not. <laughs> and... <laughs> Alright, it said you didn't move an inch throughout that entire play. That was just immaculate ledge play. Having such a profound oh understanding my. of the space you cover with your character. And, and now, John, once again, getting maybe a little bit too impatient in some of these positions. <gasps> Galaxian! <laughs> wow. The Galaxian ship was out for blood! <laughs> Oh yeah, Numbo is starting to land a little bit too unsafely on a lot of Senji's shields. He's just playing very second beat right now, waiting for John to be the first one to commit to a lot of these options, going through header to attack chase onto the plat. But Senji was able to shield in time so well. Oh no. Senji's just stalling. He's fine. He's chilling. He is galactic chilling. He has like over as, a as half. As we fit, other than committing to like a double jump up there, how do you effectively pressure plat or Pac-Man on top plat? You don't. Yeah, you, you that's don't. a guess. I think the only way that you could reliably oh put a projectile out there is if you like up smash the header ball, but that takes a decent amount of time to set up and still covers a very specific angle. All the time for that setup of which Pac-Man can just come through and hit you and suck. I, I like that patience from John now. He's like recognizing, hey, there's a lot of projectiles out there. I know if I overcommit to hitting one, I'm going to be hit by the other. So he just let it all happen. Sinji getting the F tilt there and pushing John off stage. That melon was meant to cover, that uh, mid recovery. Oh my, what a good chase, but not going to find that kill. And the melon lingering just perfectly to hit the header. We're coming into a high tension situation now as John is bringing the percentage to a point where he knows he can kill, even though he could very well explode at any given moment. And now this is anybody's game once again. <gasps> no, it's what a John's snipe. game. What a this snipe. This is John's ledge. We're all just living on it. Let's work on your and that's another chapter in the books. As number Sinji comes to a close, we'll be seeing you next week. That went by a little bit faster than I thought I would, too. Because everyone thinks they... Okay, they're not just camping. There's so many more layers of stuff. <laughs> Look at the face of concern. <laughs> Pac-Man's having such a good time until he gets hit. <laughs> He's chilling out there. So how did Sinji even get hit by this? He just ends up jumping into it. He was definitely in a position to also, like, neutral air dodge or press another button, but then he just did it. It would have put him into a nasty position, too, where he'd have to recover super low. At that point, you have numbers who's deep breathing boosted, ready to press a button. You need to press. You need to press. As as Pac-Man, you need to go for a double jump up there. You need to go for an air dodge. You need to press anything. Because when you're out it's there rough. like that, you're a sitting duck. Yeah. You need just a hitbox that you can put out there. Like, I don't know. Would Psy be okay? Is it too slow? It, it's, it's really 